What's going on gardeners? On today's two minute garden tip, I'm gonna show you all what to expect after three and a half years of weed barrier usage. Over the years, many of you have asked me, what is that black tarp-like stuff that you have all throughout your yard and why is it there? Well, it is called weed barrier. It is a very strong woven material that's UV resistant that comes in big rolls and you unroll it and then you secure it down with landscaping staples and that will hold it in place and it acts as a permanent weed snuffing out barrier so it will kill whatever is underneath and it will also prevent new weeds from growing. In addition, because it's black, it also attracts sunlight and it will create an artificially warm microclimate. I will link to a video above where I explain all about weed barrier and if you're interested in it I have it linked in my Amazon storefront down in the video description under garden accessories. I had this house built from scratch by a builder back in 2018 and I moved in here in September of 2018 and the way that it worked was it was a lot that they clear cut and they only sodded the back 30 feet of lawn so everything else was either weeds or sand and I knew that if I didn't do something it would quickly turn into a giant field of weeds that I wouldn't be able to maintain. I knew that I was going to turn this lot into a food forest, so I put all of that weed barrier down to make sure to keep that ground virgin and pristine. And actually, the ground right here that I'm standing on was a big field of weeds and tree trunks. So I placed this all down over three years ago to snuff it all out. And I'm actually going to be planting more fruit trees along this fence right here, so I get to have a rare opportunity where I will be ripping up all of this weed barrier, and I want to show you what it looks like underneath. Remember, this was all grass and weeds underneath when I placed it three years ago. And this is what you can expect three and a half years after you put weed barrier down on top of grass and other weeds. Everything is just completely wiped out and I'm left with this nice loamy soil. Kind of like this, this really good quality. It used to be just sand, but now it's like black sand with organic matter mixed in. Now there is a little bit of washout that happened here because my yard slopes hard down into a creek in the back. So all the water rushing down over years did wash some things out, but we will be able to fix that with a little bit of fill dirt. So using that weed barrier, I was able to transform a field full of weeds into beautiful loam to plant my apple and peach trees in. And I didn't have to do anything. I let time do all of the work for me. And remember, if you're looking for the exact weed barrier and garden staples that I use, they are linked in my Amazon storefront in the video description under garden accessories. And that's today's two minute garden tip. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated.